going on guys? Put Alive back with another video today. We have a package from Ringside Collectibles. Wrestlingfigures.com where you guys can feel free to use discount code LIVE at checkout to save 10%. That's L-I-V-E, all caps. It'll save you 10% off at checkout. Feel free to use it on literally everything over there on their website. Before we get into the package though, we do have a brand new basic to the Bredo Live collection, courtesy of Dado Live, Series 119 Triple H. How epic is this? We got a suited Triple H finally. It's been such a long time since we got a suited Triple H. I believe the last time we got it was when he was in a battle pack with Daniel Bryan and the whole authority thing was going on, which was amazing, by the way. Super cool basic. Not going to be opening it in this video, but you guys can get a good look at the packaging there. Open the set. Dominic Dajakovic, Lacey Evans, Randy Orton, and John Cena. These are hitting stores right now, so I definitely recommend heading to your Walmart, Target, literally anywhere, and trying to find this basic. But yes, guys, jumping into the Ringside Collectibles unboxing. Of course, we got all the protective paper. I can never stress that enough. Ringside always protects your figures all the way to your house. They care about how those figures are going to show up. Moving to the first figure, we have Keith Lee. We get the brand new, what it looks like, we get the brand new Survivor Series 2021 set. We got Keith Lee right here. This is his third elite if you count uh the variant that he got pretty recently this looks great i love the baby blue pants right there looks amazing brand new head sculpt reviews coming in this video so stay tuned i'm gonna put him aside moving to the next figure one that i'm very freaking hyped for hulk hogan oh my gosh hulkamania running wild in this brand new survivor series figure Oh my gosh, this looks amazing in packaging. Look at that. This looks fantastic in box. Oh my gosh, that's going to be tough to rip out of the packaging. Reviews dropping again in this video, so stay tuned. Moving to the next figure, we do have Brett the Hitman Hart right there. Oh dude, I'm such a fan of this figure. Look at the orange outlines on his wrestling singlet. That looks so sick. Oh my gosh, and the pink chair or purple chair. Looks amazing. Wow, what a cool looking figure. And then the last figure. I'm not really a fan of a character, but the figure looks awesome. Bailey in blue, of course, when she thought she was the captain of Team SmackDown. Uh, I believe it was the it, this was last year when she was SmackDown as champion. Very sick looking figure, man. I don't again, I don't like Bailey, but this figure looks spot on. She even has her little tiara thing right there. The entrance gear, dude, it looks amazing. And there is a look at the back. And here we go into the review part of the video. Like I said, the unboxing and the review will be both part of the same video. Starting off first with this beautiful look packaging look at the superstars on the side man it is good to see Hulk's face back on an elite packaging oh my gosh and then you also got the elite logo on the bottom all the four guys we got right there as far as packaging goes look at this look at the top the red and the blue for of course we're on Smackdown true effects oh wicked picture of Hogan right there dude and there's some info on the back right there again more red and blue just neon lighting going on so sick and then there are the other people in the set as far as packaging goes, very similar throughout all of them. You guys can get a look there. Dude, the Bailey. I am so hyped. Okay, I'm way too excited right now. We are going to get all of them right out of the box right now. Start off with the Limitless. Keith. Lee, man, I wish they would give him more in WWE. Oh, uh, man. I mean, he did beat Karrion Cross pretty recently, at least at the time of filming this video. But, dude, I wish they'd give him more. Starting off first with the interchangeable hands. Obviously, as you can see, he's coming with the Keith Lee interchangeable hands right there so you could recreate his entrance pose with the thumb and then the fist. So cool. I love how we're getting that. It looks fantastic. And then we also are getting the set of open interchangeable hands. So I'm very glad that Mattel's still giving us that option in case we want to have Keith Lee hold something, maybe like a championship for an accessory. That's really awesome. And then the main accessory that he is coming with is this awesome looking entrance gear and a little disappointed with this only because we saw the same entrance piece in his most recent elite figure. So that's the only disappointing thing about 
about it. Otherwise, this entrance gear is spot on. Yeah, of course, you get the three little buckles in the front, the Keith Lee on the the Keith Lee shadow on the front as well, and then the Bask in My Glory on the back, which amazing printing by the way. But again, we've seen it already. We've seen it already, so I'm not really too excited with that. Uh, again, only because we've seen it. As far as the Keith Lee goes, brand new head scan. They are just playing with this thing. It looks fantastic. Oh my god, that literally looks exactly like Keith Lee. He's got the little soul patch under his mouth there. The lips look good. The eyes even look good. Look at that from the side. Amazing looking cut as well. He does have the black wrist tape on his right hand and his left hand, but on his left arm, he's got the black painted on elbow pad, which looks really nice. I'm glad they didn't do the bulky one because this bulky one, it would probably be a cane elbow pad and that, those are really, really big. So I'm glad they just gave us the painted on one. It looks better. And then you also do have the uh, Keith Lee torso right there, which did come a little loose for me. So that's minorly disappointing. Uh, but then again, if you move it forward, it's not loose. Only when it's only when it's back, that's only when it's loose. But when it's forward, it's not loose. Moving to the tights though, they nailed it times two with these tights. Look at that. Of course, you get the shadow of Keith Lee with the gold. The white looks fantastic. And then you also have this amazing baby blue gear right here, which looks fantastic. Bask in my glory. Keith Lee, amazing golden white font right there. And to top it all off, he's got the white knee pads right there. Not bad. Not inhibiting articulation whatsoever, as well as the black boots the classic black boots that we've seen with multiple elites taking a closer look at this stunning absolutely stunning Bret Hart figure before we do that I want to get a look at the main accessory that he comes with look at this steel chair guys you got a steel chair event chair because you could tell by the foam back there and it's freaking pink pink or purple whatever you guys want to say uh literally looks fantastic dude i love that we've never seen a pink or purple chair like this before this is the first time it's so classic looking there's look at the back get the studs back there and of course it does fold out if you guys never got a steel chair before it does fold out just like that how awesome is that? That is so cool. I'm just like, I'm glad it's just like the not like the classic black. It's so cool that we're seeing like a different color with the steel chair. I'm a big fan of that. As far as interchangeable hands goes, he is coming with the edge rock hands right here. So you could throw those up for Bret Hart right there. They look fantastic. As well as the open foreign object holding hands right there. And he also has come with open ricochet hands, which I already have on the figure. But... Enough with the accessories. Here's a look at the Hitman. Finally! Not coming with hair covering his face. That was my the biggest gripe with his Ultimate Edition figure. Every single interchangeable head skin that, that he came with, the hair was covering his face. It was so annoying. So I'm so glad Mattel coming through with this. No hair coming down over his face. It looks fantastic. And obviously, you guys could tell the black glasses I still have on the figure. Those are great as well. Look at those. And then there's the head scan. Bret Hart. Oh, he's definitely in there. Dude, you could even see like the shadow of his beard or uh, the stubble on his face. This smile, the smirk, oh, it's so cool. And then you got the black hair going all the way around to the back. Great mold right there, looks fantastic. And then, dude, look at this singlet. Oh, I cannot get over it. You got the Bret Hart logo, the pink, uh, like, flames right there. And, oh, I know I've mentioned it already, but the orange, oh, it's so cool. The orange outlining on the singlet is so sick. Black elbow pads topped it off with the pink wrist tape, the open hands, and dude, here's a look at the tights. Wow, look at this. Fantastic, wow. You got the star, then a heart, star, and then a heart. So much going on here. Look at all this fiery design. Ah, oh, it looks so sick. And then you also do have the black knee pads as well as the classic Bret Hart boots. Same type of boot that they used on the Ultimate Edition. Positioning into the former Smack down live or smackdown women's champion bailey right here sporting the blue and the white sporting the blue brand here at SummerSlam. super cool let's take a closer look at the accessories she is coming with the smackdown women's championship 
nothing we haven't seen already. Mattel still hasn't found the time to tone down the size of this because this is the size of the Universal and WWE uh, World Heavyweight Championship that they use for the men figures. And the women's and the Raw Women's Championship are not the same size. They have yet to change that. It's still cool, but they have yet to change the de like the size of it. It's just annoying. Uh, and then interchangeable hands-wise, she is coming with the fisted interchangeable hands right here, as well as the open interchangeable hands, which I already have on the figure. Speaking of the figure, here's a look at the head scan. And let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. I really like it. That dude, that looks like Bailey. It might look a little weird, but then again, Bailey, dude, that looks like Bailey. Come on. I really like that. And then, of course, you got the weird-looking haircut going all the way around to the back, the Karen cut, and then you also do have the uh, white entrance jacket right there. If you guys are like, wait, is yours stained? It's actually supposed to be like that. Uh, you can't really make it out on camera, but there's some little yellow, like, tint designs going around the entire jacket. Looks really cool, by the way. And then it all Velcros up in the front right here. And, of course, you could remove it. And it is cloth, so it's going to be easy as crap to get off. I love you, Mattel. Um, and then moving into the entrance top, or her wrestling top, it says Bailey in the white. The uh, oh, looks amazing, by the way, in the blue. SD for SmackDown. Team SmackDown, she was like the supposed captain. Uh, moving down to the tights, again, just more white, black, and blue design for Team Blue. Oh, it's so cool. Wow. They really did. They really, really did nail it with this. And then moving down to her shoes, very similar to her entrance jacket. It sort of, it sort of got like the yellow tint to it, um, which I think is pretty cool. And then you do have the black soles. And last, nope, and last, but certainly not least, the return of the Hulk Hogan Elite figures. I am so hyped, brother, for this figure, man. Oh, dude. Let's get him up closer for the camera here. Dude, I love it. I don't care what you guys say. I love the head scan. Look at that really quick. Look at that. Look at this. Tell me. That does not look like Hulk Hogan. Yes, I can agree. It looks weird. But it looks like Hogan, dude. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, Accessory-wise, he's come with the classic WWF Winged Eagle World Heavyweight Championship right here. Looking fantastic. Oh, they, oh this looks amazing. Nothing we haven't seen before. But, dude, you could, I mean, you could never have enough of these. It looks a beautiful, man. Interchangeable hands-wise, he comes with the fisted interchangeable hands, the open ricochet hands, as well as the open regular foreign object holding hands. I'm not even going to show them. You guys have seen them multiple times. As far as the head scan goes, looks amazing. And if you guys are wondering if the head, like the headband is removable, you're wrong. Ah, kidding! The headband does come off so you could reveal hulk hogan's head right there and here is the headband if you guys haven't seen it already it says hulkamania and then you do have some skin tone at the end or like like the color of his hair is at the end of the uh he headband right there so then it blends in and then you're gonna send it in these uh, little ports right here and then boom dude you get the hulkamania headband beautiful looking head skin with the beard the bleached hair looks fantastic. Got a couple bald spots up there. Dude, it looks amazing. Wow. Oh, so cool. I'm so disappointed that I wasn't able to put in my pre-order for the Ultimate Edition. Um, but still, this is really awesome. Hulk rules cloth t-shirt that tears in the front. So you could have him, you could like take pictures of him like tearing his shirt open and revealing the, the pythons. Well, the pythons are right here, but you know, the ripped, you know, physique of Hulk Hogan. I'm going to put that back on. I love the shirt, by the way. The yellow. It really stands out. And, of course, you do have the cuts in the back. Mattel, not forgetting about that. And another feature, this is the only figure out of this entire set that has the double-jointed elbows, which I thought was pretty crazy. So, yeah, you're getting max articulation with those. And then you also do have the white wrist tape on there. As far as the trunks go, you got the classic yellow trunks. Hulk Hogan didn't have much to his attire. The ketchup and mustard, man. The condiment attire. Absolutely crazy. You got the yellow... um trunks right there as well as the red knee pads it's it's sort of like a darker red up front but then it gets lighter as it goes to the back i thought that was pretty interesting and then you also do have the big extra large boots with the white laces and the white soles i love this figure dude it's so cool i gotta set it up really quick i gotta set it up let's let's zoom out let's get his arm up 
just like this, turn his head, and pose him. Where's the beach? It's that way. Ha <laughs> ha, that's sick. When it comes to the rating of the entire set, coming in at my least favorite figure out of the set. This was hard. This was a very hard decision that I had to make. Uh, when it comes to my least favorite figure, I'm going to send it off to the Limitless One, Keith Lee. A great figure. Literally amazing. I love the new blue gear, the entrance gear, the interchangeable hands to make the Keith Lee pose. Really awesome. The new head scan spot on. It's just, I don't think it compares to the other ones in the set and it's very similar to the other elites that we've seen of him coming in at number three i'm gonna hand it off to bailey even though that figure looks amazing i love the entrance jacket the wwe smackdown women's championship even that tiara that tiara whatever she's got there is really cool it fits it fits her head really nice and i'm a really big fan of that head scan too like it's weird looking but that's bailey dude she's kind of weird looking i mean no offense but i mean really looks really it looks really good Good. Coming in at number three, or coming in at number two, I'm sorry, we got Brett the Hitman Heart. Definitely get my number two spot. Amazing figure. I love, absolutely love the orange outlining on the attire. All the different colors throughout it is just amazing. And also, how the hair isn't freaking covering his head. I know I already said it, but dude, oh, finally. Because literally every other Bret Hart figure they've done, hair is covering his face. Finally. Oh my gosh, that was so annoying. Finally, Mattel, I love you guys. And number one, I love this Hulk Hogan. I don't care what you guys say. Look at his eyes there, and look at his eyes there. If you guys say that's a bad head scan, you're insane. That literally looks exactly like Hogan. Hogan, he's crazy, dude. The shirt, the Hulk rules shirt, the WWF World Championship, the interchangeable hands, double-jointed elbows. What a figure. Outstanding set. Okay, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already, so you never miss any new amazing videos oh there's gonna be a lot dropping a lot more videos coming especially when we move into the new house a bunch of different building videos re remodeling videos it's gonna be freaking epic stay tuned for that but yes guys this has been the survivor series 2021 elite series once again picked it up from ringside collectibles wrestling figures.com using discount code live chicken to save 10 percent and i'll see you guys next time pretty live out